Hi, I'm D.C. Cavender, Operations Manager of WLJN in Traverse City, Michigan, and uh, pleased to be with my two good friends, Jennifer Stoll and Brian Weitzel today, here to talk a little bit about uh, the latest uh, project from the More Jesus Ministry. It's called Heal Me. G guys, tell us a little bit how the song came about. Yeah, I was sitting at the beach and felt that the Lord was calling me into a time to listen to Him and to write a song. And so when that happens, I go and just camp out and wait, <laughs> wait to hear from him. So I was in scripture and I was praying and just looking out at the water and the song began coming to my heart and I could hear it in my, in my spirit. So I just started writing it down and continued to pray and even the music started, I just started singing and I usually record it and write down the words and it really moved me. It really moved me to the forgiveness I need to have in my own heart for everyone that the Lord calls me to forgive everyone. If there's anything in the way between me and him that will block our relationship. So it really called me into a higher level of repentance and forgiveness and, and introspection through the Holy Spirit and it was powerful. And then I passed it on to Brian because <laughs> The Lord has taught us that one plants, one waters, and God gives the increase, that none of this is about us. That uh, WLGN has played a big part, the radio stations around the country that played more Jesus and that continue to support the ministry have played a huge part. And the people that listen and then let these songs penetrate their heart, cause transformation, um, we love to see that because we want to be we want to be refined by the Lord's hand. And, and that takes sometimes a little bit of, of pause and waiting and listening and so that's what he began in my heart is to listen to what i'm saying jen and and then i passed it on to brian well and what i love too about it and we talked about this in the early days of the more jesus ministry and though airplay is important and getting a, the, it out on our station so other people and listeners can hear it, it it truly is not about the charts it's about the hearts correct and, and if this can help one person yeah um, Brian has a story he can share because this is just being released so we don't know what god will do fully but I know it's helped my heart go through layers of things that I needed to work through with the mm -hmm. Lord, but if it can help one person, if it can be medication from the Lord for somebody's hurting heart, it's all worth it. Amen. Yeah. I remember, uh, Jennifer, the day that you sent that to me, it was uh, like many of the other songs that came about. Um, I was in my studio working on some other songs that you had sent me prior to that. And uh, this, this song came through on my email and it immediately, you know, that, that heart that you were praying about. If it would touch one, it already has. Because the day that you sent that to me, um, I read through the lyrics, I listened to the rough draft of what you sent me, and it uh, quite honestly wrecked me. It really did. Uh, God began to use that song in my own heart to reveal past hurts and bitterness that I've been holding on to. And I remember thinking to myself, this is going to be a difficult one to write, if I can at all. But um, over the course of several weeks, as, as you know, um, the Lord did allow me to uh, to begin writing it and basically when I picked up the guitar and started praying over the lyrics of the song the uh, the music that became the theme to it really mm. just flowed out so mm -hmm. again I knew this was another song that the Holy Spirit had um, mm. allowed us to hear from him and write so I was very pleased about that and I knew I truly felt that it was going to touch people in a very deep and personal way because who of us haven't dealt with unforgiveness? Who of us have not been offended by someone? Oh, and right. have to yeah. turn to the Lord and say, I need your help with this mm -hmm. because in my own strength, I cannot forgive this person. But through the Lord Jesus Christ and what he allows us, the, the strength that he gives us, we can indeed overcome and forgive. It's a prayer. It is a prayer. It's, it's a prayer. A prayer. When you sing, heal me, well, sometimes I, Play it and pray it mm -hmm. over and over. And it just works in deeper and deeper levels of my mm -hmm. own heart. And you had a friend that you shared it with. I love yes. that story. A it's dear beautiful. friend of mine, it, it, we were only about halfway done recording it, so it was pretty much the rough tracks. But I, I shared it in my studio, a uh, dear friend and a, a prayer partner of mine. We got together and I shared the song with him, just played the rough tracks. And by the end of it, you could tell the Lord was really working on him and he revealed to me some deep hurts that he'd been harboring for several years actually mm -hmm. that he had thought he knew he did the right things and he gave those hurts to the Lord but this song revealed a deeper scar that he had just kind of covered up wow. 
know. And that revealed to me as well some of those same situations in my life. So again, at that moment, there was another person that was touched long before we ever finished the recording or released it. So I knew that the Lord had something in mind for the song to touch many, many more hearts. So mm. um, that that was a big, big day for me and and my friend. It was. It, and it was an awesome time of healing in that very room in my studio over the course of the five minutes of listening to the song. So, wow. so what we're looking for for programmers, like DC said, we're not looking for the charts. We'd love that because we want as many people to be helped as possible. But we're looking for people to be healed and we're looking for your listeners to be helped. So whether you send this to a friend or you put this on the air, we just pray that you would listen to this prayerfully, that you'd ponder it in your heart, and you'd also search your own heart for anything that God wants to reveal to you, and you'd be blessed by the healing that only Jesus can provide.